For a long time, I've not really been too happy with the decisions I think Manchester United have made as a club. For a long time. The Glazers, Ed Woodward, everybody at the top. But Manchester United, for me, have been exemplary in our response to the coronavirus from the very top of the club, running the whole way down through the players. When you see other clubs like Liverpool who decided to use the furlough scheme, but then backtracked and corrected their mistake, or you see Spurs and Newcastle putting staff on furlough schemes despite having millions of pounds, United are doing it right. And what I want to do in this video is highlight all the things that United have done right, because right now there's not much positive news. We know that there's not much thing, there's not much to talk about at all, really. But United's actions, I think, during this whole crisis and before it really gripped the UK, have been fantastic. Go back to when United decided to reimburse all those fans who travelled to Austria for the Lask game that ended up being played behind closed doors. United gave a refund, I think, of about three hundred and fifty pounds each to everybody who went. Cost nearly a quarter of a million pounds and United did not need to do that. Nobody forced their hand. It was a decision by the club to help the supporters that forked out so much money to go there and didn't see the football. And then United, I think it was on the 19th of March, announced that they were going to cover the wages of 3,000 casual staff at United. Again, this was a decision by the club. The government furlough scheme did not start until the 20th of March. So the day before United took the decision to protect the wages of those casual workers and that would have made a difference to hundreds of families during a time of absolute crisis when they needed that money and the security of that money the most. And United did it and we did it without the furlough scheme and that is something that I think United should be proud of. And then building on top of that, this week United have guaranteed the wages of the full-time staff, 900 staff there or thereabouts at United as a club, protected them, protected their wages, actually encouraged them to go and volunteer for the NHS and local communities by diminishing their responsibilities of their job, which they now can't do properly. United have just acted brilliantly in an exemplary fashion without being forced to do so. And I just think given how much negativity I've given towards how United have been run as a club for a long time, just to see United doing this these sort of social actions, putting people first, putting people and their families first. It makes a massive difference. It will make a huge difference to them. And it's just wonderful to see the club actually acting correctly. And then you've got season tickets. United are going to pro rata the payments back to the fans for the games that aren't going ahead, which I imagine every single club will do, but it gives a little bit back to the fans where maybe they are worried they're losing out on that money as well. But it's not just the club and the decisions that the club have been making, which, as I said, I think have been exemplary. And as a club as big as United, we need to be role models to set the example for others. Liverpool didn't do it and they backtracked and they corrected their mistake, but they made the mistake in the first place. Newcastle aren't doing it. Spurs certainly aren't doing it, but United are. And I hope that by doing that and by leading by example, others will continue to follow. And I'll be honest, I don't really care if this is some sort of PR stunt by United to protect the commercial quality of the brand. The fact of the matter is that we are making decisions from a social, from a people perspective. It's helping people. So I don't care if it helps the brand as well because it's helping the communities and that is what is making a difference. And if you're looking at the club doing the right things, the players are certainly doing the right things as well. Look at Harry Maguire. The day after Matt Hancock strangely decided to call out the PFA and footballers for not doing their bit, Maguire had a conversation with Ed Woodward and got the green light in asking all of United's players not to take a pay cut, but to donate 30% of their wages towards charities, towards the NHS, towards helping. And again, that's leading by example. Instead of being frustrated or angered by Matt Hancock's words, Maguire's taken it upon himself to try and make a proactive step so that United's players are doing something for the communities, are doing something for the NHS, and that is what a captain should do. So it's great to see Maguire doing that. But somebody who I think deserves special praise throughout all of this is Marcus Rashford. Now, Marcus Rashford is working with Fair Share UK. Fair Share UK is a charity that helps reduce food waste and helps give families with vulnerable children meals that they desperately need. And if you haven't heard about what Rashford is doing, here's a snippet of his interview with the BBC where he explains it in a little bit more detail. Obviously, you know, in the past, I've done I've done a lot of work um, in regards to children, and um, basically, when I heard about the school shutting down and 
that obviously means free meals for some kids that they're not getting at school. So um, I remember when I was in school, I was on free meals and my mum wouldn't get home till around six o'clock. So my next meal would have been about eight o'clock, but I was fortunate. So there's kids in in much more difficult situations that don't get that meal at home. Um, so basically when I heard the schools was, was closing, I wanted to try and make a, make a positive influence and make sure these kids were getting the meals that they need. It really is making such an incredible difference, the work that Rashford is doing with Fair Share UK. He's helped raise over £20 million in donations from like co-op, from Tesco's. Over 740,000 vulnerable children have been provided meals through the work that Rashford has been doing with Fair Share UK. And Rashford, as he said in that clip there, you know, he grew up with free school meals. He hasn't forgotten the roots and, and the help that he was given on the way up. And instead of turning his back on that, He's given it back to the community when they need it the most. And it's not as if Rashford is doing this for recognition right now. He's been doing charity work for a long time. And it's just wonderful to see how much Rashford is growing into a role model on and off the pitch. And he really should be considered a role model now because he's doing all the right things, as I said, on and off the pitch. And giving back to the community right now is something that everybody needs to do if they can. I've signed up to be an NHS volunteer. I think I'm gonna do my first day tomorrow. If you can, do whatever you can do to help your own communities. I think hopefully at the end of all of this, and when this is all passed, there will be some nice habits that will come through. People looking after each other a bit more. People communicating a bit more. It's a horrible time we're going through, but just to see Manchester United as a football club making the right decisions in not furloughing the staff, in helping the communities. I mean, look at the Manchester United Foundation today and the club staff handing out food to loads and loads of local areas and communities, and that will make a massive difference. You know, everybody can make their small changes and the small differences to their own communities, and that's what we need to do right now to continue to pull through this. Obviously, you need to stay at home, you need to protect the NHS, and you need to save lives because this is the most serious pandemic that we'll ever hopefully see. We're going to get through it. But just, as I said, I wanted to do this video to point out the good things that I've seen United do because I've been so quick to criticise the club when they've got things wrong, but we're getting it right at the moment. I think we can hold our heads high and be proud of what United is doing, proud of what the players are doing, and hopefully it will make a difference and inspire others to make a difference too. Do whatever you can, but make sure you stay at home, protect the NHS, and make sure you save lives. Take care.